Hey, John Morris here, and in this video we're going to talk about PHP functions. Now in this video specifically, we're going to talk about the, func the PHP functions built specifically into PHP. Later on in the course, we'll talk about how to create your own PHP functions, uh, but for now I want to get you up and running and understanding how uh, the core PHP functions work themselves. So, whenever we work with PHP, Really what we're ultimately we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking data and we're going to be applying, applying PHP functions to it. So the core of what you're really doing is working with variables and functions, which of course is why I wanted to cover these two things in a little more detail right at the beginning. So for example, a really good example of this is this uh, instruction right here. This echo is a core PHP function and we're applying it to uh, this data called message which is contained here. Again, this could be something you define explicitly like this, it could be something you pull from a database like here, uh, it could be whatever it is, but you're applying this function to this variable or to this, this data and then you're outputting it and, the, and you're getting the result which is this result out here. Okay, so that's what PHP functions do. Now, to give you uh, uh, another example that are, actually first, let's go and we'll go. Now, in PHP, of course, you know that there's a PHP manual um, that has all of the functions that are available in PHP so that you can uh, see what they do. And of course, here's the one for echo, and you can see that the description is it outputs one or more strings. And if you come down here, you have a whole bunch of examples of how you can use Echo uh, in all kinds of different ways. And you'll have a little bit of a description in here of how it works. And later on, I'm going to go into how to actually read the PHP manual. Um, but for now, uh, you can see that you, you know the, the, this function is in the manual and it explains everything that, that, that you need. Now let's go and let's look up a different function just to kind of give you an idea how this works. So this is a function called string to lower and what it does is it makes a string lowercase. So if you have a string and it's got you know it may have uppercase letters in it or whatever this will take it and it'll make it all lowercase and there's certain situations where you might want to do this and you can see that the parameter that we put in there is the actual string that we want to put into uh, lowercase and if we come down here and we have this um, this string which has all these uppercase in here and we apply string to lower to it uh, you can see now it changes it to um, all lowercase and if we come back over to our example here let's look at uh, hi I'm a PHP script let's go ahead and apply that function to it and if we save that and we come back and go to our example you can see now it changes it all to lowercase and really with PHP that's all you're doing it is you're applying you're taking a certain set of data and you're applying function PHP functions to it to get it to do what you want it to do uh, to get the ultimate end result so even when you're working with the database, you're applying PHP functions to the data that gets submitted to store it in the MySQL database. Those are PHP functions that specifically do that. And then when you want to get data out of that database, you're, you're using PHP functions to go grab that data, pull it out, apply whatever you want to apply to it, and then ultimately output it to your browser. So um, Working with PHP is a matter of working with variables and applying functions to them. Uh, and that's ultimately really at its core all there is to it. Now when you get a little more advanced there may be some different things that you do that maybe you're not working with variables or this or that. But ultimately uh, there's rarely a case where you're not uh, taking a variable or some sort of data and applying a function to it to get it to do something. And that's the core of what PHP allows you to do. And that's how you're able to make dynamic sites with it. So um, just as a reference then, probably the best way and you, you've seen um, me do it uh, is to use Google to 
to find what you want because you can come here and you can search for a specific uh, function you know in the function list and in, in the manual itself and it'll bring it up like that but if you don't know the name that can be pretty difficult so the best way to actually look up functions is I'll, I'll write this I'll always put PHP at the beginning and then I'll put like make string lowercase right and we'll come here and boom it'll bring up that stro to lower right here and there there it is for you and you also see we have stro to upper or string to upper and it'll, it'll bring that up and then you can see a list of related functions over here these were all string functions now if you want to actually go into the manual and find it um, we can come down here and we can go to Uh, our function reference and then you can see that we have um, you know we have text processing which will give you a bunch of different string uh, functions and things like that and you can come in here and you have variable and type related extensions so you have arrays classes and objects um, you have all these variable handling and then then you come into arrays and you know you have all this different information and then you can see you have your list of array functions uh, that you have available down here so you can do it that way um, it's a little bit harder to maneuver as you can probably tell I don't really ever do that much um, I more just go to Google and search for what I need and I find it now there may be cases where you can't find it that way so you can come in and do it this way but um, there's no need to memorize all the PHP core PHP functions it's all documented you can come in here you can find it and typically you can find examples of how to use all this stuff whether it's on the in the PHP manual itself or on other websites. So um, that's a little bit about PHP functions, uh, what they do, uh, how you use them in conjunctions with variables and where you can find um, some of those. Um, you know, we're not going to sit here and go through every function in this video. Uh, instead, as we go through the rest of the course, you're going to see some of the core functions. And then um, as we get later on into the practical examples, you're going to see some more um, uh, more functions as we go throughout and of course the big thing too is for you to go out and actually start messing with some of this stuff yourself and, and working with it because that's really ultimately the best way to learn and the only way you're really going to master it is to be out there there working with it so um, that's PHP functions that's a little bit about how they work I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you again soon